Hey everybody, it is Scott the Steenroller Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you with the one and only Steenroller free play of the day. As always, if you're having a little fun digging what we're doing, we'd appreciate it if you'd give us the uh, the old thumbs up, if you would. Give everybody a chance to hear do it here right off the top of the bat. Uh, hover over that thumb, and I'll count it down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Smash that thumb. Click that button. Do your thing. There you go. Oh, wait. Waiting on you. Yep. Yep. All right. There you go. Thank you very much. As always, if you haven't subscribed, we'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Of course, check us out uh, over there at winnersandwinders.com if you're looking for second opinions, deep dives, and predictions on every single game, every single day, faux free. And, of course, we want to know what you're playing, man. Speaking of great free plays, we'd like to know what our handicappers are doing that read the comments. They are a fantastic group of handicappers. And uh, just drop your plays in the comment section. Give you five units to play with, however you want to spend them. They're all yours. You get them right, we'll give you the shout out. And you get enough of them right, and you will be the gapper of the day. All right, guys. Well, we finally tried to get our parlay in. Nope, rained out once again. Uh, Los Angeles Angels. Uh, that game was uh, on hostile to bye bye, as my wife says. Uh, however, we were able to get the Royals game in. And perhaps that one should have been rained out too. Kansas City Royals, as a Royals fan, happy to see it. As a guy that played the other way, unhappy to see it. And it was a, uh, Royals were ahead. They gave up a two-run bomb in the bottom of the eighth, kind of the way they do that. Uh, they just, uh, Chicago had their had their new fancy, shiny closer. All he had to do was get three outs. Uh, no, no, they uh, could not do that as uh, Michael Taylor hit his first home run of the year to tie it in the ninth. And they won it in the ninth on a botched throw home, uh, trying to bunt and uh, threw home to uh, to get the runner, and it did not work out so well. And the Royals scored the run that way. And, um, yeah, Bob's your uncle. They come down and shut him down in the bottom of the 10th, and the Royals sneak off with a win. So, uh, not the way we wanted to go, but we do have uh, another play lined up for today. It's not a parlay, guys. Uh, I'm still yet to play a parlay this year. Um, it is the Oakland Athletics and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Looking at the total here of nine and a half, we're going to play the over, Rover. Uh, Chris Bassett goes up against Madison Bumgarner. Hey, kids, Operation Fade Madison Bumgarner continues, all right? He has been horrible so far. Nine innings pitched, 15 hits, 11 runs. Uh, each time that he pitched, the opposition ended up with eight runs. That worked out fine for us today. Uh, the problem with this one is... Uh, twofold. Number one, uh, the A's, I still don't trust them yet after they started the season in such a dismal fashion. And I don't necessarily trust, trust Chris Bassett yet. Chris Bassett is a pitcher that we love to back, uh, but generally hasn't been up to form yet. He's uh, pitched 11 and a third, given up seven earned, 13 hits. Um, the bad news is, of course, went against two of the hottest teams in baseball right now. He, he opened up against Kershaw and the Dodgers. And next was uh, Grinky, and the Astros actually might have been in reverse order, whatever. Uh, however, those are the those are the two matchups that he's had so far. Diamondbacks never going to be confused for any one of those either one of those teams. And Madison Bumgarner right now never going to be confused with Grinky or Kershaw. However, the Diamondbacks, after just being dreadful on offense, uh, uh, they uh, they've lost Marte, of course, and the offense has kind of started to play better. But, very weird as they lose your best hitter. Uh, they've averaged five runs per game over their last six. And in four of those six games, they've scored five or better. So I think they'll uh, I think they'll break through for, you know, I think they hang at least three or four on Bassett here in this one. I don't hate Oakland at minus 122, but I'm going to take Bassett and the A's out of the equation. I think the over is a better play. Um, I have more confidence in Bassett to give up runs than I do their Oakland A's to win this one. So, Give me the Oakland Athletics, Arizona Diamondbacks over nine and a half. And at the end of this one, you guys can join me as we pick up our winning tickets and head back to the window. Uh, I also don't hate, if you wanted to play Oakland over five and a half, I don't hate that either. I just, there was, there was three really good plays and I had to decide which one I liked the best. So I did pick the over, but either one of those two plays, I do endorse those as well. So with that, be, with that being said, uh, take a look and see how you guys did today. First of all, uh, uh, a hearty welcome back to G and G. Uh, if I recall, G and G kind of a fan of the uh, of the CFL, so I'm anxious to get 
his thoughts as the CFL cook, uh, kicks off here in a couple months. Um, George Paltos had a clean sheet today. Nice job, George, going 3-0 and plus 300. And the Butcher, you know he's going to have a winning golf play for Sunday at the Masters. Come on, come on. And he did. Cha-ching. 1-0 and plus 500. Put another one in the bank for the Butcher. All right. But, capper of the day, he hit one two-team parlay plus 260. Max units. It's Jay Lynch, everybody. Jay Lynch going 1-0 plus 1,300. Hey, Jay, congratulations because you are the capper of the day. Well done, sir. Well done to the rest of you. And for the rest of you, you know what? The weekend's over. That might be a good thing. That was a rough three-day stretch. Time to get back on the horse. Dust yourself off. Whatever other euphemism you can come up with to starting over. It's clean slates Monday. Let's rock and roll. Let's go out there and have a little fun. Make a little money, and we'll talk about it all tomorrow. All right? You guys take care, and we'll see you then. Bye-bye.